Okay guys, so today I'm going to do a review for you on a product that I've had for almost a year now. It'll be a year in like late October. Um, and I said I was going to do a review on this product when I did my first tackle. Uh, and I just never got around to doing it because I, to be completely honest, I forgot. Totally forgot. Uh, and the only reason why I remembered it was because Jason told me a couple of days ago, Hey, you said you were going to do a review on your Easy On Mustang rope halter and you haven't done it yet. So yeah, he is remembering things for me, which is outstanding because I apparently didn't write it down, which I normally will do. But anyhow, like I said, my Easy On rope halter is what I'll be reviewing today. And it's by Mustang Brand, if I can get the thing to cooperate. And I do like this rope halter. It's not my favorite. My favorite is the blue one that has the knots on the nose. And the reason why I like that one more is simply because it takes less pressure uh, on my part to get a horse to do what I am asking it to do because those knots uh, put extra pressure on their nose, which is like a pressure point for them. And it just makes it easier for me to get a response out of them. Um, this works just as well, but I just find that they pick it up faster if they have the knots and I don't have to really do much other than just lift the rope, the lead rope up a little bit and they respond quickly. So that's kind of, I just prefer the ones that have knots on the nose simply for that purpose. But I bought this simply because, um, I don't have a problem tying rope halters. That's not my issue. I know how to tie the knot properly. I just don't ever tie it tight enough. So when I go to put on a rope halter, I think, oh, this this is a perfect tightness. It fits on the horse. We're all good. It's nice and tight. And then after doing a couple of exercises, I find out, hmm, this isn't as tight as I thought it was, and then have to tighten it up. So that's why I bought this, so that I could just tighten it one time, and then it's good to go every time after that because it has this little metal clippy thing on it um, and it does do that fairly well my only like issue with this really is that you have all of this slack on the end which I think it's because Bugsy has a large head or she has a tiny head my bad she does not have a big head at all she has a itty bitty little baby head um, so I think these would be better for, this size is better for a larger horse, um, just because there's so much excess, and it only, I think it only comes in one size. Um, it's sort of like a one size fits all, but not really, because if you've got a big horse, this will fit just fine. You won't have that much excess. But if you've got a little baby horse, or a small horse, like a pony, you'll have so much excess on the side that it's just now this like huge bulk on the side of their face which kind of bothered me a little bit um, and as you can tell from sitting in my tack box for a while the knot does not it did not hold up very well um, it's just it's it's not the greatest knot in the world to be honest with you which is kind of on my part um, and I did modify it slightly other than the uh, rings on the side which Oh, notification, go away. Let's see if I can get this to go away easily, guys. There we go. Ah. Uh, excuse me, I have to turn the notification off or else I can't actually see the viewfinder. Um, but I did add the rings to the side, thinking that, oh, I can ride in this rope halter. And that didn't work out very well. That was a failed attempt, which is why I got my pretty uh, hackamore. Um... But, so it's not stiff enough to be a riding rope halter, at least not a side pull. I didn't try it underneath because I'm not really a fan of that and Bugsy really doesn't like it. When the reins are underneath her, she doesn't like the motion that happens where the nose piece glides back and forth. She's not a fan of that, which is why I don't ride her in a Bozal. Um, because she just, she, she never likes that, likes that motion to begin with. So, kind of irritates her and I'd rather not have a horse irritated while I'm riding them. Um, but so, and the only reason why, um, I don't really use it anymore is just simply because of this. I did use it on a bigger horse and it works just fine. 
And I did modify it slightly other than the rings, which I think I said that earlier, and then got sidetracked. I put a little rubber band on the end of the loop just because I noticed that if a horse started pulling, what would happen is one side, and I'm not entirely sure which side it is, I think it's this one, but one of these little ropes would get tighter and this would slide and then it would put more pressure on the back of their head, which I wasn't a fan of. I was not happy about that. So I just added a little bit of rubber or a little rubber band to the end of it and it just keeps it in place better. Um, and all in all, it's, it's a fairly nice rope halter. I do like it. It's just not the greatest for my horse. I think if it would come in different sizes where the end of the rope was different lengths, it would be better um, because then you wouldn't have to deal with having that huge bulk because if it's a shorter rope, obviously there won't be as much bulk. Uh, but what I do like about it is it has a tie-on rope holder. Now, some people don't like these because it's not as convenient or easy as the clip-on ones. Um, I personally, I like both. Um, but I use tie-on rope halters, or tie-on lead ropes, excuse me, um, for horses that are more sensitive on their face. Because some horses don't like the metal clip touching, like, hitting the side of their face when they walk because it swings back and forth. Um, and then other horses don't care, but if I have a horse that I'm working with who does care and gets irritated by it, I will put on this one. Uh, I also will use it if I'm riding bareback with no tack, like no tack at all. Um, I'll just tie this around the horse's neck and it doesn't have any clips on it or anything. Uh, and it's just a nice soft cotton rope. So it doesn't burn the horse's neck. Um, and I don't have to worry about the clip bouncing on the horse and smacking them and whatnot. So it does have some nice features and I do recommend this for people that have larger horses that don't really know how to use or know how to tie a rope halter very well or just have my problem where the tightness is an issue um even though tying rope halters is very easy i don't know why it's like impossible for certain people to do um but it is it is a nice rope halter it's not like i said it's not my favorite um but i am still happy that with the investment that I put into it because I do still use it even though I use my blue one more uh, and also I've been working with a friend of mine recently and we've both been training horses together and she doesn't have a rope halter so she's been borrowing this one and her horse's head is slightly larger than mine um, so I think this is no I tightened this down a little bit because I used it on Bugsy the other day but it does fit on her horse Azran a lot easier because her horse has like a moose head. It's like his the top of his head is huge and then it tapers down to like this easy little baby mouth. Um, but so if you have a larger horse, this will work a lot better than if you have like a pony. Um, but yeah, so I will leave the link to where you can buy one of these, the Mustang Easy on Rope halters if you want one. Um, I have seen some people at like rodeo events using these, so I do still believe that they're being sold. Uh, and the reason why I say this is because I did a review on my bridle and my breastplate that have the fake must or fake Mustang, <laughs> the fake snakeskin on them, and I cannot for the life of me find anywhere that sells them anymore. Um, I checked on the brand that they are. I checked on like their website didn't find it. I checked on the website that I bought it from, couldn't find it. I googled it and I, I, I don't know where it is. I cannot find it. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I will be able to find the link to, to this particular rope halter um, because I have seen it recently. Uh, but if you guys do want me to post the video on my bridle and my breastplate, I will do that as well. And there just won't be a link to it unless I can magically find it. Um, or if any of you can magically find it. But, so, like I said, if you guys want me to post that, let me know in the comments. And I think that's all that I have to tell you guys. Yes, I think that's it. So we're going to end there, guys.